Hello to all of us. I'm Lisa. And I'm Jo. And we're here to give you your reading for January 2019. Oh. I will be reading with the uh, Psychic Tarot deck and confirming with the Gilded Tarot. And I'm a Reiki practitioner, so I work with the chakras um, and I use spirit messages to um, enlighten me and enable me to expand and help to give you some advice if needed. Um, we always pre-shuffle before we actually start um, and then, then we shuffle a bit more, obviously. While I was pre-shuffling and thinking of your energies, I got the Destiny card. Um, this is also like the Wheel of Fortune, very, very similar energies. So um, this is about obviously the wheel turning, obviously the Wheel of Fortune um, and better things coming your way. Do you know what I mean? So if, if there's anything in the past or last year that you've been holding on to, let it go now. Just let it go because you, there, there are better things coming your way. With that said, I'm going to put it back in the deck and shuffle the rest of the deck. So that's kind of your overall, do you know what I mean, so to speak. But we'll shuffle the deck and we'll, and we'll give you a more in-depth reading and we'll do some clarifying as well. And we'll, we'll see where life is at for you. Um, in January, I can't believe it's January 2019. Yeah, I know. I can remember when we was all worried about the Millennium Bug. I thought that was like yesterday. I know. Anyway, so Tori's, um, we hope you had a good Christmas or whatever holiday you had the, a new year. Have you got to do something fun? I think Taurus has had a bit of a rough time of it lately, to be fair. I feel, I feel things have been quite up and down for quite a few of them. Oh, okay, Taurus. Let's see. Okay, my lovelies. Let's see what you've got here. So, <clears throat> there's been some lies and deception around you. I think this is a three way situation. Sorry, this has gone that way. I thought it was going to be straight away off the cuff. Um, you're, you're in a current relationship at the moment. If you're not in a relationship, give me a minute, I'll get to you. You're in a relationship at the moment where you feel quite alone. You don't you don't feel um, any support or anything from this. Um, I, I feel you're, you feel you've been lied to. You know, th this relationship was was good at first. This relationship was very good. It was it was almost like a happy family home, but something has gone wrong. I do I do feel you think there's belief there's been a three-way situation within this relationship and it's very possible very very possible um i do see you going off i do see you bowing out of this you know you've been standing your ground you've been you've been trying really really hard to make this work and and get past the issues what it is in fact you've in fact you've been solid you've really put a lot of strength and energy into trying to keep this relationship working and it's just not I'm afraid it really, really isn't. But but this don't don't stress about this too much because I do I do see something better on that. Sorry, I've got cross my I do see something better coming on the horizon for you. Let me see. Let me see what else can be coming in for you on January. You've been so strong though. You've really put an effort into making this work. You really have. You know what I mean. And and and, and the the annoying thing is no one this weren't even really accepted whoever you're dealing with their mind is somewhere else somewhere else or with, or, or with someone else you know and it's not fair because you, you should have been you know you're you're you should have been rewarded for the recognition that you've put into this all right you've got a wish card coming up you've got a wish this is this is time for you to let this go i think follow the wheel of fortune you know we said the destiny is bringing you more decide I would let this situation go. I don't see it going anywhere. I really, really don't. And and this, whoever you're dealing with, their mind is is on someone else. If you're single, um, this is tough for you if you're single. Hang on a sec. Not for you. It's tough to read if you're single because of the way the cards have laid out. All right, let's find out. Let me ask about the single. What messages have we got for our, for our single Torians, please? 
you have got some money coming in. I can tell you that much. You've been working hard. Um, because I was in love mode. You've been working hard, and I think you are going to get um appreciated more at work. If you, if you're at work or you're or you're in a, a business or something like that, you've been working hard. You've definitely been working hard at that, and 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 this is going to be um you're going to be you may even get a promotion actually. The recognition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You may you may even get promotion. So that there may be news of a promotion for you at work. I see that. Um, I'm, just, I'm guessing some of you single ones would like to know what's happening with love for you. Let's have a look. Got the strength card come out again, Torium. Yeah, I, I think I'll come back to that for those that need to make a wish, those that are in a relationship and need to make a wish. I mean, there's nothing stopping single Torians making a wish. I mean, it's yeah. the new year. Yeah. Go with the flow. What is it you want to bring in? For you single ones, I've, I've, there's there's a lot of good kind. I mean, a possible Leo coming into your life, um, a fire sign. That looks quite good, and and there, there is a fulfilment. There is a fulfilment here. You've de you, there's definitely news of somebody coming into you quite soon, and I think you may already know this person. Let me just double check that it is a a, a fire sign or a Leo. Let me double check because there's a lot of fire here. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of hope here as well, and it's okay. So it could be Leo, Pisces, or Cancerium. This person that's coming into you, you may possibly have two. Yeah, and you're definitely moving forward. Um, those that are in this relationship um, situation, you're definitely moving forward and this person's coming in for you too. So single people, you've got someone coming in. And this this is this is a lovely connection because you've got the sun card here. This is a very fulfilling relationship. I also feel though this card is relating to the hard work you've put in, uh, uh, in your businesses or, or where you are at work and, and a promotion. You know, I, th I think your abundance is, is coming to you and it's not just abundance in um, material and financial ways. This is, this is fulfillment of wishes. I mean, you've got the wish card, the star, and you've got the sun card. So this is the, this is definitely the year for all of you, whether you're single or in a relationship, that your dreams will come true. So make your wishes and you've the strength to back up your wishes. I'm not saying you might, might not have to work from a little bit. Nothing lands in anyone's lap, but you know, okay. give, you know, take strength, take the lessons from what you've learned. If you've been in this three-way situation relationship, take what you've learned from that. Um, there are celebrations coming up. There is more love coming up because, um, yeah, I think I think you're pretty much all Torians are, are, are going to be single or moving into a new relationship. If you're in a stable relationship, obviously don't take any of what any of what I've said there on board. Then that means your relationship is going to go on to a deeper level. OK, you'll be going on to a deeper level and, and it's going to grow some more. You may feel there's been a few bumps in it. You may feel that um, maybe your partner hasn't shared something with you, but I think it might be because they're trying to deal with it themselves. If your relationship is quite happy and you're, and you're stable, the re reason they're not telling you something at the moment is they're, because they're trying to work it out and understand it themselves. But once they have, your relationship will go on to a deeper level. All right, so that's what I've got for you, Taurus, for January. Over to me. For me, this is all about your crown chakra um, for January. Um, obviously, top of the head it's the top of the chakras um it's all about your spiritual healing and meditation um access to your deepest wisdom um like lisa i also have new beginnings for you um so some so something i'm feeling it's it's you, your mind is ticking you have lots going on in your mind and it's how to to be able to put them into the physicality it's all right having it there but to bring it into real life um and inspire the passion within you um but you will do um i think take some time give yourself some time have a cleanse have a meditate um stay connected to the inner you um into your intuition and your overall well-being 
will guide you in the right direction. Is the, you'll know because you're a, a Reiki practitioner, is the um, the crown chakra where you can sort of draw in from the It's universe. where you draw in the energy. Imagine you're opening your crown um, and you need energy. Just imagine you're opening your crown to, to, to imagine a white light and you feel the white light coming in from and filling you and aligning all your chakras all the way down to your base. Uh, and it should just give you the extra energy and ignite the passion within you uh, and to give you the insight that you're looking for. Mm. Okay, excellent. Oh, I like that. Oh, that was quite beautiful. I quite like the thought of the, the light oh, coming in yes. and, and, and need absorbing the universe. We need to bathe in, to, in yeah. some light, yes. I suppose if you absorb that and you make your wish, then, you know, if this is open, the universe is going to hear you and grant that wish. Totally. Give you the fun card. Absolutely, I guess. yes. If that makes sense. Yes. All right, Taurus, that's your reading for January. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, if you like it, please hit the like button. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, please do so below. Uh, we'd, we'd love some more subscribers, so please feel free to subscribe. And if you hit the little bell icon, you'll be notified every time we um, upload a new video. Yeah, and we've got uh, um, some lovely live collaborations coming up from um, other people on YouTube and other spiritual um Spiritual collaborations. Yes. yes, best way Absolutely. of putting it. Yeah. What what do we call it? Our on the sofa moments. Oh, our on the sofa moments. Our on the sofa moments. Yes. And we're hoping to do them live. So there may be a swear word or two, but anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. We are. What yeah. We are. So we're, hope, we're hoping to do them live, and hopefully you'll be notified of them, and they'll give you some insights into other spiritual things. Um, so thank you very much with that happy new year, and hopefully we will see you all in February. Thanks.